If it he wasn't knew. for him, like he knew. not yeah, he would always tell me. Like I always like, oh, he's forced he forced me to uh, learn music. Sure. But he would always tell me, like, man, I, I, you think that I'm doing this for, for me, right? You always tell me I'm doing it for you. Yeah. And, and you remember you know, I, I yeah. And what do you think I about never, it now? Be, before he passed away, I never looked at it like that. Yeah. I looked at it like, ah, oh, he just being he just hard. wants me to he's just being hard. He just for no reason. I don't know why I would think like that, but now that I look back on it, like he he, he was looking out for me. He man. was on to something. Exactly, man. He was looking out for me. He was uh he saw something in me that that I couldn't see, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh I just I'm grateful for him for doing that. Did you ever and, think uh, that yeah. you were gonna get on the main stage like you did? I mean, what took you from Hawaii? You know, which yeah. is far away. You know, it's a little bit off the like, beaten path yeah. to idol. Like, or you know, just what what. So, like, like how I said, like everything that I went through has led me up to now, and this, I, like, I will never do it any different. Mm. Anything. Yeah. Everything that I've done in my life, I'm I'm never gonna regret it because, because like I said, everything that's happened it happened for a reason. Yeah. My dad got sick. Um, he got, he had a heart attack. He had a heart attack and he had, um, a heart attack and two strokes. Mm. So he couldn't work anymore. And so we had to move to Seattle. Yeah. So I moved to Seattle with my auntie cause my auntie was taking care of us. And I really, I, I really thank her for that. Uh, my auntie, my dad's sister, her name is Pepe. Yeah. And, uh, she took us in, helped us out. She really, she really took care of us and, um, my dad got back to working, okay, you know. Good. He got back to working uh, in a thing. He made his own company, and it was all it was a cool thing because he loved he loved it, and uh, you know, like and like how I said, everything happened for a reason, and uh, he he had a kidney failure, mm. so he he legit couldn't work anymore because he had a kidney failure, and uh, you could only drink because he did construction and like. Not cause like electrician, he did like concrete, laying concrete, all that stuff. Uh, and he had a kidney failure. And while you're on dialysis, cause that's when that's when I that's when I got anxiety, cause I didn't know what any of that was. And, yeah. And it was just, man, it's I I don't know my my life. I feel like I feel like I live I lived a good life, man. Like, yeah. like I'm saying that like I'm gonna die soon, but no, like, but I, I just but you're being truthful. Yeah, I just I lived a good life and everything that I've gone through, I'm I'm, I'm really appreciative of. And um, like I said, my dad had a kidney failure, and I thought I had anxiety because I thought because I never thought like he was that my fam like my parents were for some reason I don't know why I thought I never thought my parents were ever gonna die. Thought they're gonna live forever, of course. right? They're super. They're, they're superheroes. Exactly, yes. they're superheroes. They're gonna live forever. Absolutely. And that's what I. That's how I thought. And when my dad had kidney failure, like I thought he was, I thought he was like a goner, man. Wow. So that's when I really got. Um, that's when I started uh, really getting into my, you know, uh, getting it really into uh, what do you what do you say, um, gospel, yeah, yeah, really into the gospel and. Um, really religious. Faith. I really got, yeah, I got faith. a lot of faith, faith from those moments. Yeah. That's how you say it. Sure. And um, I would pray every day for my dad to get better. Sure. And, uh, you know, and he did get better. And I, man, I just, I thank God for giving me that extra year that I had with him. That's wonderful. And uh, he passed away. I think I was 16 at the time, 17, 17, 17 at the time when he passed away. And um, I had tr tried out for Idol before, but oh, you um, did, yeah. Once uh, the year before my dad passed away, and they said, "Oh, you need to come back next year. We see a lot of potential to come back next year." And then my dad, he came and sat down with me because I just stopped after Idol. Like my my confidence after they said no, they took the wind out. Yeah, of your I took sail. the yeah exactly. Like it took my confidence down. Yeah, I didn't want to sing anymore, and I just like I was just. You know, I only sing when I wanted to, like jam and have yeah. fun. My dad sat down right before he went to the hospital, cause cause before he went to the hospital, um, he came. He started like talking weird, like he was, uh, like, oh, it was crazy, man. He just started talking weird and saying like, 
whole bunch of stuff that didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So my mom told me like, oh, you know, dad's talking weird again. Because this is how he talked sure. when he had a skinny failure. Yeah. I don't know. I was just, I was, I would talk, my, I th my mom would talk, my dad was going crazy. And my dad came and he sat down next to me right before they left to the hospital. He said, son, you need to do something with your music. Mm. You know, you need to really do, because I really do believe in you. He told me this before he went to the hospital, right? God, which is which is crazy, man. It gives me goosebumps. He said, you got to do something with your music because you, you can really make it. You know, you, and he, the thing that he told me, which always gets me every time, like, there's a song that he wanted me to learn. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to close my eyes. Okay. I don't want to think that I love you. <laughs> na, na, na. Yeah, that's like the that last song. Right before he left to the hospital, he asked me to learn that song. And by this group, they cover it. Like he wanted me to learn that cover. It was called uh, the group is called Love Travel Music, right? It's called Love Travel Music. music travel. Oh, Music Travel Love. And my dad, music Travel Music, or something like that. And my dad loved those guys. Mm. So he asked me, "Can you learn this song?" And he said, "Me and you can be like these guys and travel the world." Before he left to the hospital, and passed away, he said, "We can oh, yeah. be like these guys, travel the world, and we can go." Everywhere and just just sing, just that's legit what he said. Just sing. He had such belief. Yeah, man, and he really believed in me. And the funny thing is, after he passed away, I tried out for Idol, and I try, I sang the song "Monsters" for my dad. The video goes viral, mm -hmm. right? Everyone was, and I was blown away. And I sat down and thought. I'm singing with him around the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, did you choose, you, you mentioned Monster. Did you choose that song? So the thing is, my mom, like, I, what, my mom what suggested song? it, right? So I, I sang this song called, um, you know what song, uh, Alan Stone, uh, the I can't stop the rain. Give you blue. Okay. I sang that and then uh, I remember I was just thinking, I was like, man, I don't know. My mom was like, I think you should do Monsters because it's a really good song. And I was like, I didn't like singing because it makes me emotional. 